Uh, we won the game, you know. Uh, we're 4 0. And we've got to get better at the passing. We've got to get better at the running. That's the one thing about when you win, you know, you go back and you look. It's never as good as you think, never as bad as you think. Uh, I think we started out the first five or six plays good, but then, you know, we sputtered a couple of times where we had a chance to go down and, and score. And, uh, you know, Terry's doing a, a good job of learning every week and, and got to make quicker decisions. And, uh, you know, it's, it's everybody. Then you got to pass protect, and then you've got to run great routes. And, you know, I, I think we're, we're building on that, and we'll get better each week. How much creativity and fun is involved in finding ways to use Terry and Benny and sort of play them off of each other? Uh, it's been good. You know, we had a little fake toss last week where we shifted them and, and, and little things like that. Uh, anytime you can do that to try to, I call it eye candy, uh, to try to help. Uh, I, I think if you get an advantage, then you do it. If you don't, then you don't. Darren was saying a couple weeks ago that the eye candy is really helping you guys on that first down yardage. Is, is that a place where you... Yeah, Coach always talks about being intentional, be intentional on first down, be intentional, you know, when you're second and long, be intentional when, you know, you got to get the easy throws. And, and so sometimes you can do that with that eye candy. I think Mark mentioned earlier, too, about getting Terry to make quicker decisions. Is that film or is that mechanics? I think it's, it's everything. It's game experience. You know, we've got to be, you got to be careful of how much you put in, you know, each week. Uh, again, you get you so many hours to, to get it done. And so, uh, you know, we'll see what he does the best as, as we keep going. And uh, as, as we find out what he does best, then we'll go with it. They called up one of CJ's catches before that big one Saturday, six yards or less. Has he been open down the field more and you just haven't hit him? Or was that something that became available for the first time? Well, it became available. And, you know, I think that. Some of his, uh, when we run the, uh, the bootlegs and stuff like that, the flat, they've covered him great. Or, you know, last year we caught a couple of those flat routes and, and he ran for 15 yards, you know. He's caught a couple of them and he's gotten whacked right out of the gate, you know. So uh, some of it's been defenses have, have hit it the right way, you know. And uh, so, you know, they've taken away some stuff from CJ too. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's always a guy that, that we want to get the ball to. Are they, are they stacking the box to try to stop Benny and he, you're just getting yards anyway, or are they playing you more honest and do you expect them to stack more? Uh, we're not seeing anything, you know, different. Anything unusual? You, you, you know, yeah. You know, when, when you're in 11 personnel, you know, you get a seven-man box a lot. And uh, when you're in 12, they, they get in there more. And, you know, we've taken some shots downfield looking for some one-on-one -on -one matchups. Again, we missed a couple last week that, that we had a chance, you know. And when we start hitting those, we're, we can be really explosive. You know, we talk about contested catches. Coach talks about that all the time. And I thought the catch that CJ made and the catch that Dorian made, you know, you, if you don't make those plays, it's a different game. And, and that's what Coach talks about. You never know when it's going to happen. And those were two huge plays. And they were both contested. The CJ catch was phenomenal. I thought the Dorian catch was too, you know. So we've got to continue to do that to win big games. You play in the SEC, and, and you know this week we got to do the same thing. What makes South Carolina so successful on third down, stopping that play? They do a good job of mixing things up. You know, they, they mix things up in coverages. They mix things up in their blitzes. Uh, and, and they're you know 24% right now third down. They're really good. You know, we went into last week saying that we had it to be good on third down, and it's a cliche, but you do that situational football. You know, you got to be great on third down. You but mentioned third, after that Mississippi State game that. Schlarman's one of the best in the country at his job. What does he do so well that, that gets guys you know, so ready and bought in? He, he doesn't, you know, you, you, as an offensive line coach, there's a lot of things going on up there. You know, the twists, the, the, the run game with, with the blitzes, and, uh, you know, he never asks, you know, well, we can't do that because of this. He finds solutions. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's, that's a great thing for, for a coordinator to have an offensive line coach like that, that he's going to find a way to get it blocked if there's any humanly possible way to get it blocked. Because you can't sit up there and check all the time. You can't sit up there and, you know, go back and forth. We want to play with a little bit of tempo, and so I think he does a great job with that. He came here as an air raid guy, and then those offenses don't always have the best reputation for physical offensive lines, but obviously that's been a strength of yours. Is that something that he's always had, or did he develop I think so. When you go from coordinator to coordinator, you, you, you try to develop a personality. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the years that I've been in the SEC, uh, you know, when I came here, I said big men lead the way. You know, it all starts up front. Everything starts up front for, for an offense. Did you know right away, he's, hey, this is a guy I can work with? Did you all meld right away, or did it take a little bit of adjustment for the two of you to work together? No, it was really easy. Yeah, you, if, if 
you don't like John Schlarman and you can't get along with him, then you got a problem. <laughs> he was he, he's from day one. I mean, it was a no-brainer. Uh, so yeah, it was it's, it's been a really good marriage. Stoops mentioned on Monday. He